You have a great song, If You Want to Touch Her Ass, which really speaks for the need of men to respect women. And right now, so much of the conversations we're having are about sexual assault and sexual harassment in the mm -hmm. workplace. How do you feel about women finding their voices and speaking out in this way? Well, it's just so overdue, yeah. you know, it, it, because the, the, the scenario's uh, ancient. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, yeah. It, it's, just, it's ancient. I mean, it's just, um, that is just a reality. So, you know, why it has taken so long in this day and age to um, just address it is, um, it's part of the frustration that's built up, I think, for mm -hmm. a lot of women. and. Um, so the floodgates have opened, and, it, and we're, we're, we're feeling this, you know, whirlwind of, of uh, expression about it, which is important. It's just gotta, it's just gotta come out. You know, everybody's gotta just come out from their fears, and that's a lot of what has prevented women from speaking out before Absolutely. fear. And mm -hmm. fear is just such a negative thing. You just gotta. Uh, you really got to challenge your fears. That, if that's any advice I would ever give anybody, I mean, I have to. I, I follow my own <laughs> advice. It's hard I definitely sometimes. push my limits, and I push myself through my fears. You have to. You cannot let fear stand in your way. So, um, I'm happy to see them take that. Uh, you know. Yeah take that courage and do it. It is, it's really, really, really tough. It is. I so appreciate um, their position on, uh, you know, just, I, I don't, I'm not sure that, that if you're not in that position, you've never experienced it. I, it's hard to understand how much courage it takes. Yep. Because there's so many people that are affected by what you have to say. It's true. And, but you know what? It's not your problem. That's right. It's not your problem. You got you got to you got to be able to say what you got to say, and you know your problem is you know or if if you're someone that's been abused, your problem is not being able to share it. That's, that's right. a real problem. That's the big problem. That is the problem. <laughs> so I'm just glad. I'm glad that this that's is cool. happening and. Um, and yeah, if you want to touch her ass, you know, that song started as if you want to touch her ass. <laughs> okay? S S. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to touch her ass. And this is like a joke, I'm For saying. Because sure. I'm always I I'm like so annoyed by men that that touch you when you you know Unwelcome touch. It's like No. Excuse me, no. no. I mean I don't care. Uh, yeah, no way, no way, no way. That's never been ever, ever, you know. In my own personal mind, okay. Never. And um, I'm, I've always been just really offended by that. And it's usually the, the butt, you know. Yeah. Because it's like so. It's a discreet way to touch a woman For without, sure it is. and she has no defense because she can't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing more insulting. Yeah. So that's where that came. I said this would be a great song if you want to touch your ass. And then I was going into, and I thought, no, if you want to touch your ass, it just says it all in it there. Does. So, yeah, that's how time. that song was born, yeah, just through my own frustrations with that. In your own experience. Yeah. You mentioned fear, and to so many of us, I think we think of you as fearless. <laughs> what are you afraid of? What are well, your, some of your fears? I'm like anybody. I've, I've got fears, but when they rise, mm -hmm. I, I fight them. And that's, you know, I, I have my fears. I've got, um, like everybody, I'm not um, immune to, uh, you know, uh, Lack of, of of confidence, you know, lack of confidence or um, things that terrify me, or um, you know, I I just go through those phases like everybody else, and I just push myself to face them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they just eat you up. That's true. You know, and they stop you in your tracks. That's and right. I and that's why I wrote um, "Swinging with My Eyes Closed." Uh, you know, this is just because you don't know what's around the corner or you can't see what's next. You can't let that stop you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, sometimes you just gotta move forward blindly. You gotta believe in yourself blindly. You've gotta believe in your, you know, you gotta have faith in your own um, strength and uh, know that whatever you're up against, um, we're not always going to know what, what we're up against. In fact, Often we have no idea no. what we're up against, right? So why would we? Why should we let that stop us? You just got to go. You got to be fearless. You do. You know, as scary as it is, you just got to take the plunge. So that's why I wrote "Swing with My Eyes Closed." And um, I mean, I just always have been that person that 
needs to express what I'm thinking, I would go crazy if I wasn't able to do that. Mm -hmm. And music's been my, 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 you know, the best vehicle for me to do that. And I'm really thankful for it, because trust me. <laughs> I think my husband would say the same thing about me. I really need to express how I'm feeling at all times. <laughs> I mean, I really do. I go nuts. Yeah, me too. And uh, yeah, I think I'd be in the nut house if I wasn't writing music. It's, it's my balance. It's yeah. my, um, it's what really gives me this, it's, 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 an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a venting tool. Mm -hmm. And then whether I share what I write, in a lot of cases it doesn't even really matter. It's just about getting it down. So the writing process itself, um, you know, maybe if I would have writ written, you know, if you want to touch your ass, I, maybe I wouldn't have released it that way. And it might have just stayed an idea that I needed to express. Right. Um, and, and then, you know, then there's ideas that I really do share, so, you know, uh, songs that I say, well, no, I need to share this one because I know I'm not alone here. I know I'm not the only one that's experienced that or that feels that way. And I know that others will find a camaraderie in that yeah. and, and a support in that in knowing that um, somebody else feels that way too and somebody else knows how to put it into words. And that's just what I do. I know how to put... Uh, my feelings into words and um, I feel that I it's part of my pleasure sharing it that's great that should be your your Twitter bio I know how to put my feelings into words Shania Twain <laughs> <laughs> I mean not everybody does that's and so it's, true and, and it's so, so they don't know how to get it out they don't so it sometimes yeah. we do express ourselves through other people's words that's right and that's just uh, the magic of you. communication yeah, yeah.